If you ever wonder how can I write in two hard drives at the same time and read you know, from two hard drives at the same time and have amazing speed, here I'm going to show you how you can do that with RAID 0. So basically RAID 0 is something that will allow you to use the hardware that you have already, it could be SSD or HDD, I mean if you have the hard drive, the mechanical drive, or if you have a solid drive, so it will allow you to copy and, and read, uh, basically uh, using both drives at the same time. So now I'm going to explain you a little bit more about this technology, theory, then practice, let's start. Hello, my name is Gabriel from Gabak USA. In this video, we are going to talk about what is a RAID 0. RAID 0 means redundant array of independent disk. So in this case, as usual, we are going to talk about theory first, and then we are going to jump in in practice. So if you want to know a little bit more, in this case, we are going to use, in the practice, we are going to use this IC dock. This is the device that I'm going to use. I'm going to show you uh, later on. Also, if you want to buy something like that, I'll leave it in the link of this, the, of this video. Also, I'm going to do the same thing with another computer. I have a computer, it's a HP Z600. So in this case, we are going to be playing with, with these two devices. You, you can do the RAID with software or hardware. What I recommend is always using hardware. So that way, this, I mean, in the case of this device, it's very easy. You just move one switch and you have it in the RAID 1 or RAID 0. In this case, we are going to play with RAID 0. So now we are going to, to tell you this. And one thing that you have to think about is SATA. So if you know the connector, uh, at least we are now in this video, we are recording in 2017, but maybe you're going to watch this video to, to 2020 or, or, or older than that. And you will see that you may have this kind of computers that still have SATA 1. I hope you don't have any of those, but SATA 2 and SATA 3. In this case, HP C600, it has SATA 2. So I'm going to explain you why you have to think about those things when you're using RAID 0. So this is the thing, RAID uh, 1, uh, the top speed that you can achieve with this technology will be 150 megabytes a second. With RAID 2, you're going to achieve 300 megabytes a second, and, uh, and 3, it will be 600. Usually, when you have a one hard, one hard drive that, uh, that is SATA 1 or SATA 2, and you are going to connect it maybe in SATA 1, maybe you're going to get like 130, 120, usually it's not the top of the speed that it says on the, on the manual. The same thing with, the, with everything. So there are newer SATA connectors, of course. In this case, we're going to talk what is mainstream, that is the thing that most people have in their computer. So usually I, I, test the, I tested the, the SSD, uh, SATA 3, on a very new computer, and usually you get always like 500, 550, something like that. It's never 600, so that is what you have to think about. So, like I said, I'm going to show you here the theory and then the practice, remember? So, now, now I'm going to show you, I'm going to tell you about the pros and cons. So, the, the thing about, about this is pro, you're going to ha have a lot of speed, that is great, but the cons is no fault tolerant. What it means is if one of the hard drive dies, you lose all the information. So keep everything on Dropbox or make a backup every day or whatever, depending on the importance of the, hard, uh, of the information. So that is one of the things. Another thing that I wanted to share with you here on the, on the SATA, SATA 1 or 2 or 3, is something that you have to think is if you're going to use uh, this device, it has uh, something that you're going to, to find that it has some kind of limitation. Uh, I mean, is, this is not the limitation of this device. The, the limitation is going to be on the SATA. So let's say that you have two, uh, you have a SATA 2 in this case, like we have in this computer. So we have, we can install here, let's say SATA 3, like, uh, two SSD, SATA 3, maybe top of the line like Samsung or something like that. And you will find out that 
even if you have them on RAID 0, the, uh, the thing is you never are going to exceed the 300 megabytes a second. So that is uh, one of the limitations, so that is why you have to think about it. If, you're, if you want to use one of these devices, I mean, it would be a good idea if you have all hard drives like the mechanical hard drives or the spinning hard drives. So, because usually those hard drives are about 80, 100, maybe 150 in the worst, in the best case scenario. So, if you have like two hard drives that are 150 each one, and then you use RAID 0 in this one, and you have SATA 2 on your computer, yeah, surely you will achieve the 300. Otherwise, uh, if you, like I said before, if you have two SATA 3, two SSD SATA 3, and you use, you use a RAID 0, but you have SATA 2, I mean, no, you're not going to exceed the 300, so the 300 megabytes a second. So that is one of the things. So what I have done in this computer, in this HP Z600, is to apply this RAID 0, but I use I used uh, two SAT, SATA, SATA connectors, so that way I'm using 300 top speed and 300 top speed from the other connector and that way I can achieve about 550 top, maximum will be 600, but as usual it will be 550. So that is a very good idea because if you have a computer that it has SATA 2 and you say, okay, how can I improve the, the speed or have the same speed as it was a SATA 3? Okay, this is the idea. You use RAID 0 and then you use uh, the, two, the two hard drives. I'm going to show you step by step how you can do it on the computer and the way you go. So that is the one of the things that you can uh, do uh, even uh, if you have um, an, an old connector. Okay, now we are going to talk about size. So in this case, we have this hard drive. In this example, is 750 gigs, and then we have 250 gigs. So if you're thinking, well, if I, I can add them up, and then I will have the total of, maybe in this case, one terabyte. If you're thinking that, well, that is a mistake. So what you're going to get in this case is the size of the little one by two, times two. So what it means that if you have 750 gigs and you have 250 gigs, if you have to multiply 250 by two, you're going to get 500 gigs. So that is one of the things. So what I recommend is if you can get two hard drives that are equal, the same size at least, it doesn't have to be the same brand, but if you can use the same size, that would be great. So otherwise you're going to be wasting other, I mean, you're going to wa be wasting the space in the other hard drive. So that is the, the thing. Also, rem remember that this is going to work with the little one and it's going to work with the slower one. So if you have something that is very slow, it's going, the top speed will be the, the slow one. So in this case, if we have two hard drives, one is seven, uh, 7200 and we have another one that is 5400 so the speed the total speed that you're going to get is the little one so it will be 5400 so that is what you have to think is always use the same speed the same size so that way it, it will be better and it, the ride will work with uh, with the speed of the of the both hard drives so what I'm, I'm saying is if you're using an equal yoke in this case, you're going to get the slowest one and the smallest one in, in size. So that, that is basically what you're going to, to have. So in another video, I'm going to talk maybe about RAID 1 and the other different. Uh, also, if you want to know how to become a computer technician, I have it in the playlist. So if you want, you can visit. I have like over 40 videos and every week I'm making more. So remember, go over there. Now I'm going to, later on, when you finish this video, now I'm going to show you step by step how you can make the RAID 0 with this machine, or with, with this device, or with a computer. In this case, we have a HP C600. But if you have maybe a special car, a RAID car, or maybe you have another computer, like a Dell, IBM, or something else, 
don't worry. Usually, the menus are similar, the same like as the BIOS in, in, other, in other computers. So let's start with the practice. Now we are going to work with the HP Z600. And also, we are going to start playing with this. So the thing is, if you want to do the raid with your own car, or maybe with your motherboard, or whatever, maybe you have this computer, you have IBM, Dell, whatever, usually it's very similar. So you can use something like that. Like I said, if you don't want to buy anything, just this, and that's it, because your motherboard doesn't have that capability. Uh, you can use this, or we are going to see first how you can do it with your motherboard, or like I said before, a RAID car. Now we are going to change the screen. So now, as you can see, we just turn on the computer and I, I pause it so you can see the, um, the screen. So the, the first where you see port, it says port uh, 0, 1, 3, and 4. So the, one, the 0 and 1, you will see the SSD uh, is to 250 gigs and in on the third position you're going to see the RAID 0 in this case is the um, AC dock and in the fourth place you're going to see just the hard drive by itself is the, the, the one that is alone so in, in this case if you want to create the, um, the RAID it's very easy the only thing that you have to do is press Ctrl I uh, once you press Ctrl I, you have to wait. Otherwise, if it didn't work, you have to reset the computer and start again. So in this case, because it was on pause, in pause, uh, I have to reboot the computer. Uh, let's uh, press Ctrl I again. Now we see the video card. In this case, we have a 1070. Now we are going to see the menu. Now, now we are going to enter in the BIOS so you can see the other options about the about this motherboard this motherboard has the raid capability so i'm going to show you i think it's storage yeah it's here so if you go to storage here where it says uh, SATA emulation you can choose id <laughs> ide or raid like like you see and that's it uh, in this case we are going to press escape we are going to leave it the way it is and we are going to enter in the raid a BIOS, so we can create the or 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 RAID, of course. So wait a little bit, a few seconds more, and we will see the rest. There you go, Control I. There you go. Now we are in the system. So here is very easy. In this case, you can create one. You can reset the disk to non-RAID. You can do a recovery, but in this case, we are going to use delete so we are going to delete what we have here and uh, we are going to press yes remember to make a backup of everything so we are just making a test uh, we, we press delete and then it says all data in this volume will be lost proceed yes no yes we delete everything it says deleting a volume okay done so now we don't have anything now we are going to create raid volume enter and then here we can select a name we can change it if you want to here we are going to press enter uh, here we are going to we can select the the disk so in this case we are going to select the zero and the one that is one that is the other one so here here we have both so once we have select both we press F F10 or sometimes in this case is enter um, there, you, there you go here you, you can select the strip size we're going to leave it like that uh, here is the capacity because it's, it, it is just two drives uh, because uh, there are two drives that's it so it's 250 plus 250 is around a 500 gigabytes and enter enter again yes uh, it will delete everything, of course. Just make sure that you, you have everything saved elsewhere. And as you can see, now we have RAID 0, so it's ready to, to work. Uh, we're going to press escape. Uh, yes. And now the only thing that we have to do is to put a pen drive, so we can, or a sharp drive, so we can boot from it. I'm going to install it right now. There we go, F1, we wait a few seconds, and it will take maybe 
10 minutes to install the full operating system, in this case, uh, Windows 10. Okay, now it's booting up from my jump drive. Uh, like I said before, it will take a while. Um, if you want, you can see the whole process or you can skip it a little bit and shop with the next uh, lesson. <laughs> okay, great. Now we are going to select the language. In this case, we're going to choose English. Next. In this case, you are going to see all the hard drives, so we we could install it any other, any anywhere else. But we are going to use the SSD. This is the the first option. Okay, now we are going to reboot the computer. Okay. Okay, now we are going to press use express settings. Okay, now we, we click here, I own the computer, next. Uh, now skip this test, so you don't have to use the account. Here, we're going to type test, and then next. Okay, now we are going to click yes. So it's discoverable, it's discoverable on the network here not now no updates no nothing okay great uh, now we are going to install a few things so it will help you if you want a nice browser go to nightnight.com and then here we can search all the software that we need in this case at least the, the basic and if we have to uncompress something we're going to choose WinRAR get uh, get your night night and here we have the file run you will see how everything is uh, get installed very quickly so you can see now we're going to download this mark crystal mark sorry crystal mark download Now the basic, the standard edition. There you go. Yes. Okay, no, no the second time, just once. Yes, next, next, next. So close this, yep, done, great. So now I'm going to show you all the hard drives. So in this case, we're going to the file explorer, we go my PC, and here we have just one drive. I'm going to show you later on the, the other one. So here we have the two SSD, so we're going to rename it SSD. There you go, continue, there. that's it. So now we can check, it. Uh, we can test the, the speed and you will see it will get around 500 something. Great, as you can see, 5.59 and right uh, 5.35 so it's, it's pretty good now we're going to turn off the computer I'm going to show you the other box that we have so that way you will you will see it 
Okay, now I have the box, like I said, the IC box, the, yes, the IC dock, the IC dock, this is what we are going to use. We are going to change the camera. Here I have the, the keyboard, so I'm going to get, take it out of the way. So this is the, um, the IC dock, I'm going to, the IC dock, I'm going to zoom out a little bit so you can see it better. So this is how it works. So here, as you can see, you have the different mode. I'm going to zoom in now so you can see it better. Come on. Closer, closer, there you go. So you have one, two, three, and four. So we have different modes. We are going to use, in this case, the number four is ray zero. If you want one, you can use three. If you want something else, you can use the other option. But in this case, we are going to talk about that. Surely later on, we are going to make a video just uh, uh, talking about the, the other mode. So in this case, if you want to remove, just you press here and you, you will see that it, it pops up. Uh, here we have the HD the two and the one. So here, usually you will see a few lights, as you can see over here, and the, the way you go. So I'm going to zoom out, so you can see it a little bit better. So this is very easy. Just you don't need any tool. Just remove one drive, and if you want to remove the other drive, you do the same thing. So here we have, as you can see, uh, is 5400. In this case, is 250 gigs. So we're going to put it back. So that way you will see. Now we're going to use uh, the other one. Is 5400. Is 750 uh, gigs. So this is much bigger than the than the other one. So we're going to put it back again. Close it. And now we have to install it on the computer, and that's it. So we don't have to go into settings or anything like that. Like I said before always and like it says here warning back up your data before the installation because it will destroy everything that you have here just there is no doubt about it so here you have the the box so if you want to know the model and everything else it's all metal so that is great so he, here you have all the the features so if you want you can full screen the, the screen pause the video read everything and if you want to know more about that you can go to their website i'll also leave the link in the description of this video in case if you want to buy it um, and do your thing on your computer so this is uh, what we're going to use and later on we are going to install just this like a hard drive like this just by itself and we will be uh, checking this the speed we are going to measure the speed so that way you're going to see the difference Okay, now we are going to jump in, in the computer. Okay, great. Now we can see four hard drives. Four zero is, is, is SSD. Four one SSD. Four three is the Toshiba, the old drive of 80 gigs. And we have the RAID zero, that is the IC dock that I said before, I mentioned before. So we press enter so we can continue. And the way you go. So in a few seconds, we will have a Windows up and running. Wonderful. Now we are going to see the partitions. If we have to create one, delete one, or do whatever it takes in order to make it work. So as uh, you can see here, we have the raw. It should be the um, IC doc. IC doc. Right. Zero. And then we hit OK. Format. Yeah destroy everything remember we will have to do that never play with the uh, information and here we have the other one we're going to do just a simple partition here we're going to put eight gigs come on there you go 80 gigs just the by itself by i'm going to write add alone alone there we go yeah right now we have everything so now we're going to close it we're going to run the crystal mark in this case we are going to leave it in one side so here uh like i mentioned before here we have the the ssd we are going to run it again we're going to select the other one so here we have d and then we can choose run and then we should uh, see the other one as well. So let's see, let's hope you see it. Otherwise, we have to choose it from here. Go down. I don't see the alone one. Something happened with the with that drive. Maybe it's 
because it's very old. Can do dead. Yep, I don't see it. Let's go partition. There you go. Alone. It should be here. Okay. I don't know. Let's change. Oh, let's add the letter. It was. Let's add it to E. So it will be E in this case. Great. So now we see it here. So that is what it was missing. We have the E alone, 80. We are going to check the speed. And you, as you can see, the IC dock, we have two drives. They're usually, they're very slow. Usually by itself, there will be a, around 80, 90, maybe 100. But here we have like 60% more of speed. So that is very good. So if you have a very old drive, uh, here we are waiting for the other one, I hope. It will, it will not take, uh, take that long. Okay, as you can see, the old Toshiba is very slow, like 30 megabytes is a shame, 20 almost uh, for writing. So that is all that you're going to get. It's very close, like I said before. So if you, if you want to do that, maybe with write zero, if you want the speed, if you want security, it will be write one. So that is the differences that you're going to see in, in these cases. So I hope this video was useful as usual. Remember, click on like, subscribe, and see you next class. If you want, you can see my other videos about how to become a computer technician if you want to get your CompTIA A-plus certification. See you.